I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited! What is going on guys and what's going on YouTube? If you're returning, thank you for coming back to the channel. If you're new, please check out my new subscriber playlist or my new viewer playlist. And of course, welcome to the Team Scat Cat channel. All right, everybody, so this is gonna be a pretty quick video. I'm in the Hellcat, obviously. I'm not gonna turn it on, but this is gonna be a quick video, a quick little update to show you guys why I'm so excited. You obviously saw the main reason why I'm so excited, but we're gonna get a little bit in depth as to why I'm so excited today. All right, so for those who don't know, um, for Apple CarPlay in the 2016 and pretty much up Mopars, um, we've been missing a couple of what I think are vital apps. Uh, number one, and pretty much the only one we're gonna talk about today being the Waze app. Now if you don't know what Waze is, uh, first suggestion to you is to take that rock that you live under and put it up for sale and and then get Waze because it's probably one of the most useful apps for drivers today. But anyway, yeah, if you don't know what Waze is, uh, I'm not gonna go totally in depth on that. I'll just I'll give you a quick little a quick little you know summary of what Waze is, and then we're gonna get into this new update for the UConnect system. So Waze is basically a community of drivers that uh, it's 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 basically it's as good as the community makes it. So Waze is a community of drivers, pretty much guys like you know guys and gals like you and I, everyday people who daily drive their cars, who um, need it for navigation. Obviously, you can use a lot of things for navigation, but the cool thing about Waze is that you can do other things as well with, within the application. So in Waze, you can, as a driver or as a passenger, if you're using it mobily, um, obviously if you're not connected to Apple CarPlay and you're using it mobily, you can use Waze as a driver or a passenger to alert other drivers of hazards in the road, of uh, traffic jams, of accidents, and also, and most importantly, of police officers or speed traps, red light cameras, anything like that that could give other drivers on the road a ticket. So basically, in a nutshell, that's what Waze is. And for a long time, a lot of people in the Mopar community with Apple CarPlay were missing out on this awesome application, especially when it came to having it downloaded on our phones, but not having it on our Apple CarPlay. Well, now Apple has finally rectified that with the new update for the Uconnect infotainment system. And we now finally have, thank you so much, Dodge and Uconnect and Chrysler and Fiat Chrysler America. We now finally have ways on our Uconnect infotainment systems. So let's go ahead and check it out. So this is what your Apple CarPlay is gonna look like if you don't know what it looks like already or if you don't have Apple CarPlay. Either way, this is what Apple CarPlay looks like. So, obviously you've got your good amount of apps here, but now you've got this special little guy here. This is Waze. Oh yeah, buddy. Okay, so now you can use Waze just as every other app. You know, you can use your fingers to navigate or you can, you know, use the touch screen to, uh, find your way with a little d-pad here or something like that so now within Apple CarPlay obviously you can set your home and work here with this little star but now with your pin pointing look at that look at how awesome that is now you can report all of your hazards traffic incidents accidents and of course bump bump Oh, the big bad popo. You can report all that stuff. My wife seems to be text, text messaging me here. Thanks, Apple CarPlay, for that one. But obviously, so now you have the ability to put all of these things on your drive, basically on the go. So I'll go back to the Waze map. Literally, all you have to do is your little orange guy down here, hit that, boom. All it's going to tell you, because I tried it before uh, driving back last night from going out with some friends. So you can basically just hit whatever the incident is or whatever the report you want to put is. And all it's going to tell you is, is this, you know, incident, is this object here? And you just say yes or no, and it puts it down and it shoots it out to all your other wazers is what they call them out there. All right, so I'm outside the Hellcat right now because it is damn hot just sitting in there showing you guys, but I'm pretty sure I covered what I needed to cover with the Waze app. It's pretty simple. Um, obviously, if you guys wanna learn more about Waze, obviously go to the App Store or the Android Store, whatever you use to get your applications, and I'm sure you can just find a basic synopsis of everything Waze encompasses. But as I said before, it's great for GPS and it's great for drivers like us and pretty much everybody who uses it. As I said before, it's only as good as the community allows it to be. So it allows drivers like us to warn other drivers of possible hazards and of course of speed traps, red light cameras, anything like that that 
an everyday driver or a daily driver to and from any sort of commute would like to know about. So on top of that for the update now, if you are an Android user or if you are just not a big fan of the Apple Maps, uh, which I, I cannot say that I am not a fan of Apple Maps, that's mostly what I use either that or now, <laughs> Now I'm gonna use Waze. But anyway, like I said before, if you're, if you're an Android user or an Android auto user, or you're just not a fan of the Google Maps, or I pretty much just gave it away there. If you're not a fan of the Apple Maps, now you have the ability within this update for Uconnect, you have the ability to also use the Google Maps application as well on your infotainment system. So basically your Google Maps, if you use it or, you know, or if you're used to using it or if you're familiar with using it, basically your Google Maps application on your Uconnect system is just going to give you the same functionality that it would when you're just using it on your phone or whatever device you use it on versus your Uconnect system. So you're going to get all the cool little Google updates here and there, you're going to get all the cool little Google goodies, but also if I did primarily use the Google Maps, I would say the biggest thing or the coolest thing about that is that you have the ability now to select your, um, you have the ability to select your satellite imagery while looking on your Uconnect. So now not only do you get the power of using Google Maps, you also get the ability to see all of your terrain, pretty much the exact satellite image of where your destination is or where you're at physically while using the Google Maps app on the Uconnect. So that to me is pretty cool. Like I said before, I'm not a big Google Maps user, but I know that they are, my wife is an Android user so that she primarily uses Google if she doesn't use Waze. There are, you know, I'm sure there are a ton of Android users and just Google Maps users period who will find this very helpful. But also circling back to the original topic, now there are a ton of Waze users, Android and Apple uh, doesn't even matter. There are a ton of Waze users now who finally, finally, finally have the ability to use this in our Uconnect systems. So for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and thank Fiat Chrysler and Uconnect and Dodge one more time for putting this finally in our Uconnect systems. To be totally honest with you guys, I think we should have had that from the jump. As soon as uh, you know Apple CarPlay and Android Auto came out, I think we should have had the Google Maps update. Obviously, I know in my in my wife's Hyundai, she has the Google Maps ability, but she still didn't, she, like her Waze is kind of like glitchy on the Hyundais. Um, I, I used to have a Hyundai, but I'm not a big Hyundai guy, so Hyundai, you need to work that out. But for those Mopar users, I know that, I know, I know, I know, that we were like desperately asking and just wishing for the Waze update for the Google Maps update to come to the Uconnect system. So now, as I said before guys, with this new update, now you can use Waze and if you're a Google Maps user, you can use both of those pretty much seamlessly with how the Uconnect flows on the Dodge and anything pretty much Fiat Chrysler America has to offer now in their Uconnect infotainment systems. So I know this is pretty much like an unnaturally short video for me, especially coming off of the car show edit and the car show publishing, which is kind of a lengthy video, but obviously there was a lot to cover in that video, which if you haven't checked out that video, I'm going to put the little card in there for that link for that video, and I'll also put it at the uh, the tabs, the closing cards for the end of the video as well. Please go check out Juice Mopar's first annual car and light show. We had a great turnout. All, all over, I want to say over like $3,600, all of our proceeds all given to the Dreams Come True Foundation, which is basically um, a sister company of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, but it's just local for this uh, Florida area. So pretty much all of our proceeds went to uh, this awesome foundation to help, uh, you know, make all these dreams come true for all these kids. We had um, some of the dreamers, as we call them, we had these dreamers come through and they pretty much did their own little judging of the cars and they picked you know the dreamers favorite cars so everybody who was there for that they got awards and they were one of the dreamers favorite cars it was a great day overall great hustle from everybody in the crew um and yeah it was just it was a great day overall and if you guys haven't checked out that video please go check out that video please go see all the good that juice Mo mopar is trying to do for the community and just for jacksonville as a whole but anyway guys, like I said, I, I wanted to show you guys more of the Uconnect, but I mean, honestly, there's not too much to show, there's not too much more to show you on the Waze app, really. Um, pretty much everything that you already have set in the Waze app, so like I said, you can set up your uh, work address, your home address, any other like, you know, popular addresses that you use, 
and pretty much everything that you set up from the central hub on your phone, basically, or whatever device you primarily use it on mobily, whatever mobile device you use to set up all that stuff, all it's gonna do, as we all know for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, is you're gonna transfer into your infotainment system. So everything that I already have set up in there is already pre-programmed into the Uconnect system when I pull up the Waze app. So it's just, it's seamless functionality, I'm really impressed with it. I'm very happy that Dodge has finally done it. I know uh, I, sh I snatched at it to a couple of my friends who have Dodges or who use pretty much Apple CarPlay, and a lot of them had no idea that this update had even happened. I had no idea this update even happened. The only thing that tipped me off was that when, um, if you know, you have the Mopars, when you custom set your um, whatever tabs you want at the very bottom of your Uconnect screen, I had custom set those a couple days beforehand, and I think after this update and the eventual reboot, it reset everything back to the stock configuration of what it was down there. So I was a little bit curious as to why it did that. And then obviously I don't use Apple CarPlay a lot except when I'm going out at night and my phone's already like basically dying or on like 20% battery life. But so pretty much that exact thing happened. I plugged it in. What do I see pop up my little blue, my little blue laser there? And I just, I pretty much, I freaked out in the middle of my car. I was so happy. I geeked out really hard on it, but I don't even give a damn because I'm just so very happy that this has finally come to the Uconnect system. So anyway, guys, with that, I totally had a different video planned for this weekend, but I think I will move that to next weekend. So I just wanted to give you guys this short little video, let you guys see the awesome little update. Sure, it's a little thing, but... <coughs> Sure, it's a little thing, but I mean, I think it makes a big difference for everybody who uses. Get out of here, fly man! Damn, I think it's a big makes a big difference for everybody who uses the UConnect infotainment system. But anyway, y'all, like I said before, I know this was a kind of an unnaturally short video for me, but you know, it is what it is. Next video, we're gonna start. Um, the idea that I had put out on my Instagram a couple weeks ago about pretty much like you know the. Uh, is it good? Isn't it good detailing product reviews? So stick around next weekend for that I just got I finally got my detailing product delivered to me I'm not gonna reveal what it is to you guys just yet You'll have to stick around for next week's video to see what that is, but we're gonna start doing that once a month um, So once a month pretty much like different detailing re different detailing product reviews um, you know, I have a couple of, a couple of things that uh, is pretty obscure that a lot of people aren't aware of besides obviously people in my car group or people that I, you know, personally know that I recommend this stuff to. So you guys are going to start seeing all that stuff. I'm going to start bringing some more content in with my actual detailer that's over at Elite Detailing. So go check him out on Facebook. Um, he's got pretty much nothing but five star reviews anyway because he does a great job. He detailed this beast for the Juice Mopar First Annual Car Show and he details it pretty much on the regular when I just either don't have the energy or the time to detail my car by myself. But yeah, so without revealing pretty much any more about next week's video, that's what we're going to start doing. So if you guys have suggestions or you have more obscure detailing products that you use that maybe you don't think a lot of people know about please hit me in the comments please let me know on instagram or on here in my comments let me know i'd love to try it out I, i'm not going to ask for it from you or anything i'll get it myself i would love to try out whatever you guys think is the best thing to use on your car be it mopar or anything else anything that you pretty much take care of and you detail i'd love to hear about it, so please let me know about it but with that YouTube, I'm starting to beat a little bit of sweat out here. I mean, I've probably only been out here for like 10, 15 minutes and I'm still dripping sweat. So I'm gonna call it quits on this video for this week. But please like, browse, and subscribe. Please check out the rest of my videos. Please check out Juice Mopar's first annual car and light show video because I took a lot of time and I put a lot of work into that. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you next weekend. Take care, YouTube. I'm going to see you guys in the next one.